What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. Well, should I say today? In this short video, well, it's not going to be too short. Uh, it's not going to be too long either. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys and females out there how you can basically prevent a lot of pop-ups that you may get from time to time inside Safari. Now, currently, uh, I had a couple of pop-ups, you know, popping up inside my Safari web browser when I try to go by websites like Best Buy or Apple or anything like that. And I know normally when you go by Apple.com, come on now, we all know that you don't get pop-ups on Apple website. So that right there automatically just told me that I had something installed, some type of plugin installed on my Mac that wasn't right. And it came from a website I was on when I was watching some free movies. Yes, I was watching some free movies online and a plugin installed without me knowing. So I'm going to show you guys what you can do to just, you know, help yourself. Basically, if you ever have this problem, and I'm pretty sure you guys will, because I mean, let's be realistic here. We all know that from time to time you can get pop ups and adware and stuff like that on your Mac. So just to just have a better understanding of what to do if you ever get those pop ups, that's why I'm here. So let's begin. First thing you want to do is start by opening up your finder. Now, I'm going to have you guys to basically uh, delete a lot of stuff in here. So if you have to rewind a video, just go ahead. If not, if you have to pause it, you know, again, keep in mind, I just did this. So I'm not going to delete the files right now because I just deleted the files about like 15 minutes ago. And I only recommend that you do this like once every two months. But for the time being, only just delete your 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 cache files here. So basically, just delete everything out of here on a regular you know day-to-day -day basis but if you're having problems again I'm gonna say it again if you're having problems with your Safari web browser such as pop-ups adware stuff like that popping up inside your emails and stuff that you normally don't get I want you to delete these other files that I'm about to show you but for now if you're not having any problems just clearing out your cache folder would be just fine again that's right here so you can just clear that out now that we have that out of the way and you guys know that everything you're about to delete right now it's only going to be for if you're having problems inside Safari. So the first thing you want to start with is your caches folder. You want to open this up and just highlight everything with either Command A or you can just select everything by dragging your mouse over like so. And then right click and move to trash. That's the first thing. Don't empty your trash just yet. Just delete it out of that folder. The next folder you want to go to is your extensions folder. Once you go to your extensions folder, again, delete everything out of here. Just do a right click and just empty everything. Just delete it. Next, I want you to find your input methods folder. That would be right here. Select that folder. As you see, mine is empty with zero items. If you have anything in here, which I'm pretty sure you will, select everything and just trash it. After that, I want you to go down to your launch demons folder right here. As you see, mine is empty because I just trashed everything. So just select everything and delete. After that, I want you to go to your Launch Agents folder, which will be right next to it. As you see, that folder is empty. Delete everything out of there. Now we're going to go to your Scripting Editions. Once you have selected that folder like so, I want you to open it up. And it's only one item in here. That's because that's one item that I recognized and I knew that that was part of my Adobe software suite that I use. And I'm not going to trash that. So again, if you have items in here, which I'm pretty sure you will, you may have like maybe like six or seven items in here or maybe more than that. The ones that you recognize and you know what it is, don't touch it. But if you see anything in this folder and you don't recognize it and you don't remember installing anything inside Safari on your Mac, trash it. So again, that is the only item that I recognize that I kept because it's a dope and I want to keep it. I don't want my Photoshop or my Lightroom or anything like that to start acting funny. So now we're going to move on to the next folder. Now with this next folder, in order to access this folder, this is hidden by default. So you want to go up to your Go here in the menu bar and you want to hold down your Option key like so. Now you'll notice when you hold down your Option key that you would be presented with some other options that you can choose. And if you see, it will disappear if I let it go. If I release it, you see how it comes back and forth. So, All right, now we're going to select that library folder as well. Now once you're inside this library folder, we're going to pretty much start to empty out the same thing that we just did in the first library folder. We're going to start with the caches folder again. You want to open it up and just trash everything inside it. And as you see here, this folder immediately filled back up just that fast. Now we're going to go to the next folder, which is going to be the internet plugins. You want to find that folder. Once you find your internet plugins folder, you just want to open it up and again, trash everything inside here except 
for the items that you recognize. If you recognize an item that's in here, keep it. My real player plugin, I want to keep that because that's my real player downloader and my agents for my player here that I want to keep. So I'm not going to trash that because if I do, it's going to start acting up and it's not going to play right when I download my movies or my videos and stuff like that. Now you just want to find your launch agents folder. That would be right here next to your keychains. Open that folder up and trash everything inside it. Now, once you have done so and you're done with all of that, I want you to find one more folder now. And that is going to be your scripting additions folder inside this library folder. So you just want to find that folder. And that would be right here. Open it up. Again, mine is at zero items because I trashed everything already. So you just trash yours out. Now, right now, you're going to be ready to restart your Mac. Once you're done with everything, just close that down. Come up to your Apple menu here and just choose restart. The reason why I'm having you to restart your Mac now is because if you try to empty out your trash can, it's not going to let you. Now, it's going to be full of items and files that you just trashed, and that should add up totally to about maybe like 500 or maybe more, depending on how much you had on your Mac. So if you try to trash your trash can now, again, like I said, it's not going to let you. So restart your Mac. Once you restart your Mac, then I want you to just trash, well, empty your trash can. Once you empty your trash can, I want you to open up Safari, and as you see, mine is open. And just play around for a minute, like, you know, two or three minutes or so. Open up some web pages if you like, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. And just to test everything out to see if you're still getting those pop-ups like you was getting a little while ago. Or if it wasn't pop-ups, just anything that was acting kind of funny or anything like that. And uh, you should notice a huge difference. And not only that, uh, your Safari web browser may be a little faster than what it was before. So uh, I hope this video wasn't too long. If so, uh... Please, I hope you guys watch the whole thing because trust me, it will help you out. It will help you out a lot. So I hope you guys watch the whole video. This is your man, Big B Production 100. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for my videos. It helps me out a lot. And that also pushes me to make more videos for you guys to help you all with your iPads, with your iPhones, with your Macs, and everything like that. And if there's anything else I can help you with, please feel free to just comment below, you know, and, you know, ask your question or whatever it is that I can hit you up with you know, to help you, you know, so I'm always trying to help someone. Uh, it doesn't matter where you at, you know, who you are. That's my job. That's what I love doing. I'll let you.